Do Christians worship three God or one God? Which one is it? <clears throat> yeah, uh, the Muslims assume because we believe that God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They say, do the math. One plus one plus one, that's three. Well, in one sense, they are three. They're three persons, but they are not three gods. There are three persons who exist as one God. Now, if we're going to play the game of math, I would say, well, what's one times one times one? One. What's one divided by one divided by one? It is one. And one to the third power is still one. So I don't want to reduce God to a mathematical equation because mm -hmm. both the Bible and the Quran say that God is greater than all creation, unlike anything in creation. Mm -hmm. So why can't God still be one God but exist as three persons? Why can't he be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and still be one God? If you say, well, look at you, you're one being and one person, but you're not God and God is not you. To say that God can only be one God if he's one person, it's to like him to his creation, which both in the Bible and in the Quran is blasphemy. The way I would describe the Trinity to the Muslim is, I would adopt the model of the blessed Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. because he became all things to all men, mm -hmm. that he might win some to Christ. That's 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 to 23. And what he means in that passage is, Think as a Muslim thinks and try to communicate the truth of the gospel that makes sense to them. So to say Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that's foreign language to them. So how do I communicate the Trinity? Mm -hmm. I say God, His eternal word, and His eternal spirit. See, now a Muslim can't object because even in the Quran, the Quran presents a trinity of sorts. It's not the trinity of the Bible because I don't believe the God of the Quran is the God of the Bible. But the Quran does affirm a trinity of sorts in that you have Allah, His eternal word, and His ruh, His spirit. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying God exists with his word eternally and his spirit. That word became flesh, the person of Jesus Christ. Now, in Islamic teaching, the word of God became a book, the Quran. So what they say about the Quran is what we say about Jesus. They say the eternal word became a book. We say the eternal word became flesh. So now, if your God can still be one, even though he exists with his eternal word that you believe became a book and his spirit, yet he's still one God, then why would you say that Trinitarians, as a Christian, my God can't be one God if he is God, his eternal word become flesh and his spirit? Why the inconsistency? So we have the same view. Even though our view is not identical, it's still similar enough to teach that the Trinity is not a violation of monotheism, that there's one God. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.